So one of the questions I get a lot is how did I get started uh, as the assistant director at Tanganyika. Uh, it wasn't really until we decided to open the park up that I, I decided I wanted to come work with the animals. Really it was after about three or four years into the park I realized how much of an impact that we could have on people. And so it's no longer, you know, what gets me out of bed and coming to the park every day isn't I get to build my own business and, and create a culture. It's the impact that I can have on people by strengthening that connection between them and the animals. In 2011, my mom passed, and my dad was um, obviously very hurt by it and kind of withdrew. But then when he went into the uh, lorikeets and those birds were climbing on him, he was just ecstatic and this big old smile. And it was the first time I'd seen him smile in over two years. Um, and it just kind of changed his whole outlook at it. You know, there were still things that he could do and still enjoy without, you know, feeling guilty or whatever he was going through. Tanganyika has made a huge impact on the people that we serve through the Arca Sedgwick County. We serve people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and we've had a lot of wonderful opportunities to come out. Our kids get to get up close and when you get the, a chance to feed the giraffe or the rhinoceros, uh, when, when you get to go in and, and, and the birds are swooping down. You know, for the kids, these are experiences uh, some of them have never had before. Those who've come out with us year after year know what to expect and are so excited when they get here each and every year. Uh, you know, for them to get to, to, to touch an animal, uh, to interact, uh, for a lot of the kids that we serve, uh, especially those with autism, they love to be able to touch things and the texture and the feeling. And, and again, this is an experience they can get anywhere else. When I started uh, helping out in 2005, we had three keepers, and today we have over 90 people that work at the park here uh, throughout the year. So it's grown a bunch, and with that, our collection of animals has grown to where now throughout the winter, it takes over $700,000 just to care for those animals. Some people may know or may not know is that we're the only attraction in the area that isn't subsidized by you know the city or the county. 100% of what we need to take care of these animals comes from people either visiting the park, buying something in the gift shop, or coming to a fundraiser like the Twilight Tour. Tanganyika has just been absolutely fantastic to work with and give us these opportunities. And so uh, we greatly appreciate anybody who's come out to support Tanganyika. I know we will continue to do so, and we just, uh, again, want to say thank you. We're not just here for the animals, but we're here to, to change people's lives and to connect them with the animals. And it, it was you know through those stories that we were getting that I realized how much of an impact that we were having on people. So if you want to help out, the best way is to go to the website at twpark.com and come to the park, visit, do an all-access pass, go on one of our behind-the-scenes experiences. Um, there's a lot of different ways to not only connect with the animals, but to help us support the animals financially. 